there. I, I don't know why. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for asking. Today was an interesting day at work. It was the feeling of stress in the air from everybody. And I think that a feeling that a rec a feeling that I had recently had put in broke today. So now when cold liquid gets to it, it hurts. And the funniest thing is it's had a root canal. I, I want to talk about my visit that I had last night. It is confusing and a little different and of course special. I don't know if I was asleep and if I was, it hadn't been very long at all. And so what happened was, at some point, I felt the bumping on the bed. And I remember thinking, oh, here we go again. And I tell them now, so they won't think I'm scared. For my safety, I have to say, just so I'm sure, and as you know, I say, you know, if you're not in God's uh, light, vibration of pure love and so forth, that you have to go. They stayed, of course. But at some point that I could not wrap my head around today, I either came out of my body or I was looking down at the foot of the bed. Because when they started bumping, I seen figures walking through the foot of my bed. And I don't remember really anything after that until this. I remember looking around and the smoky haze was back. And so I'm like, okay, they're here. <laughs> Usually when the haze or the geometric shapes, which I haven't seen in a while, I don't even think I've seen them here in the apartment. And I've been here almost a year. When I see one or the other, um, shortly after I see that, they appear. And I don't know if they're like waiting for me to put my phone down there have been times where I put my phone down and the haze and or the shapes or whatever was already there and that's what led me to believe oh they don't interrupt when I'm on the phone they patiently wait which I'm sure they're watching TV so anyway I'm looking around in my room and I see movement I see a lot of movement and I see another probably if not the same, seven, I want to say seven foot because the head is almost touching the ceiling. I'm on the upper floor of an apartment and the ceilings are kind of, well, they're not real high, but they're pretty high. So this figure is kind of walking or pacing what it looked like. I assumed it was a male because that was the feeling I got and I'm always spot on with that and I'm just sitting there watching him and of course you know I invite him to commu invite them to communicate and actually before all this started before I put my phone down my ears started ringing in a different tone I need to pay more attention usually I do and I don't see anything going on so I just kind of ignore it I'm watching this one figure walking back and forth what it looked like and then there was a part of me that thought that there was more than one. I'm like, okay, sometimes I do have a room full. Why that is, I don't know. What do they do? If I do go to sleep and don't wake up, do they just sit and watch me sleep? I don't know why so many come to me. And then I seen one doing the same, was kind of pacing back and forth. And I'm going to guess it was either barely five foot or a tad over. And I'm, I'm really trying to focus on them because I'm trying to get a feel of their form or whatever. And once again, they were light, light, white, grayish TV static. Like, how would you call it? Tiny protons of energy You're just going around. You can see the shape and everything. The tall being, I seen the nose and the eyes, um, the the inventions like we have right here. I mean, you can tell. And then, all of a sudden, this was amazing. This was amazing. I'm looking at the, the shorter one, and then all of a sudden, in an instant, 
I saw the big almond eye and then I seen it blink. I was like, no, I'm not, I'm shocked, but I'm not shocked. And I don't know why I'm shocked because I've seen the almond eyes before through the TV static, through um, the transparent, uh, different tones of transparency. I can't explain that, but what was different was, is I seen it blink and I'm like, I don't think I ever looked long enough at the almond eye for it to blink. And it was right by my bed and it was looking right at me and it just blinked. And you could see the almond eye was pretty big. And when it blinked, it was a lot of lid to close. And, you know, because it's a large eye. I kind of giggled and I said out loud, I seen your eye. And then I paused and I'm like, that's the weirdest thing to say. And then I said, it was so beautiful. And then I felt kind of like a buzzing and it felt good. I'm like, oh my gosh, that was so beautiful. The last almond eye I saw was my soul mother, the queen. And I'm thinking maybe her headdress before I knew what it was, was what scared me because her almond eyes were coming out they were being outlined and then coming out and taking form and then i remember i think i was saying wait wait or oh 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 i don't know and then she dissolved back but i don't know if a part of me was afraid of what was on her head or was that her head and then when um it was told to me that was my mom my soul mother i i felt bonded immediately like Oh, and then I try to wrap my head around it. How does that work? Also, I'm not sure how or if this even resonates. So I want to say it does, but I know my soulmate comes to me often. Oh, and by the way, I had uh, body vibrations last night also. I know my soulmate comes to me often and I know Nordics are tall. They're over six foot. A part of me wants to say, because I see this tall figure often, that that is my soulmate. I don't recall ever seeing hair, except a few times on females that come to me. So I don't know if their hair would stand out in the ways that I see them. I'm not sure. I do know Anunnaki has came to me. And, and it, it's funny because all I saw was the head and it was tall. Or shoot, I can't remember. I'm sure it was. Oh, I just saw Spark. The reason why I knew it was Anunnaki is because when I seen it, it said Anunnaki. It was a voice saying Anunnaki. And sometimes when things are said to me from the other side, it's a lot of the times just one word. Not all the time. Sometimes it's two words. If I'm lucky, I do get sentences out. And it's just crazy how I receive all the messages, symbols, um, and I've said this before, you know, how they do heart and whatever. It's all kinds of stuff. But I don't know if that tall being is my soulmate. I just don't know. And then I often wonder, I originate from Arctura. Do I look like the almond eyes Arcturans? Because that'd be weird being an almond eyed Arcturan. And my soulmate is Nordic. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's so hard to wrap your head around. But anyway, back on topic. I was thinking instead of saying out loud. Sometimes I change it up from thinking to verbally and then vice versa. Because sometimes I wonder, there, there might be a blockage somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's me. So sometimes I say out loud. Sometimes I say in my head. 
Um, I do both and I've always asked, can we please communicate? Can you please materialize before me? And it just doesn't happen. I don't know why. Oh, and there was something else I've been wanting to tell you for a while now. And I have just kept forgetting to say, kept, kept on forgetting. Anyway, about my meditation video that I was wanting to do for you guys. Here's the thing on that now. I, I had uploaded one with these tones that I was purchasing from a YouTuber who does these tones. He was a want, he is a wanderer. And so I had purchased these tones and used them. Well, about three times I kept getting these, um, copyright strike, but it didn't count against my channel. I just could not monetize that video. And I'm like, what? So I contacted that guy, Metaverse is his name. I contacted him and he said, YouTube recognizes his music. So regrettably, every time I put a video out with his music, I, that will happen repeatedly. So I can't use that. So I had to find another way of having either silence and with my voice and I mean, you meditate silent sometimes, not all the time. That might work. I might try it or find other tones through the YouTube audio library because I can't make my own music. I don't have the equipment, although I would love to. I think that would be fun and interesting. I'm an artist. I do a few things already. Maybe I can do that. I don't know. Maybe I could channel it. <laughs> that would be interesting if I could channel. A lot of people channel their voice in singing or light language or whatever. They channel that. Why couldn't I? I mean, he channels his music. I assume he's a wanderer. So, but I have thought about that often and I feel that that would be so interesting. But to invest in that kind of equipment is expensive and I don't want to chance it and I can't do it because then that's a lot of money lost. And maybe when my YouTube takes off really well and I can afford that, I might do it. I mean, we'll see how it goes. I've also once again, had gained some more subscribers and I want to say thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you don't know how appreciative of that that I am. I don't know if that made sense, but you know where I'm going. If you're new, sometimes I cannot speak perfect English sentence. There I go. Perfect English sentences. <laughs> sometimes I get tongue tied. I mean, it gets interesting, but I do want to thank you for subscribing. I really do. Um, I've been trying to grow my YouTube channel and for the new subscribers, I want to say that, and I'm sorry, older subscribers that I feel like I'm repeating myself, but to the new ones, I'm doing this YouTube channel for more than one reason. One is so when it gets going pretty well, I want to travel the world. I feel like that there's something out there that's going to say, this is who you are. But I don't, I didn't even know. Every time I want to describe that, it doesn't resonate. There's something about me traveling the world that's important to me. There's more than one thing, of course. But I feel like I've got to visit monks. I got to visit India. I got to visit Egypt. I don't know why, I feel like something in those lines will trigger me. And what that is, I don't know. And the other things are, one of my things, of my multiple things in my mission is, while I'm traveling the world, to meet my subscribers and to help people that need a healing or food because I would like to help with that also. I was told, and I've always thought since I was a little girl,
that I will be traveling the world to help every entity here and beyond. And that's animals and everything else that has a soul. Well, I appreciate you subscribing because it will help me quite a bit. So I'm probably going to end this here. It's already a long video. I try to make them long, but for some odd reason, I don't need to try anymore. I've got stuff to talk about and they're lengthy. And I'm, I'm feeling that maybe the universe is kind of helping me out a little bit. And I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. I also noticed that you guys are commenting more. And I really like that. I really do. And if you're new, please comment. I, I read them all. And as I'm growing, it may not look like it. Because usually... I'll like it and put a heart by it because I do love what you say and I'll comment. But I'm sure when I get bigger, I'm not going to be able to do that on every single comment, but I will be reading them. I do sincerely love reading what you have to say. And, and it makes my heart warm and fuzzy when you comment on something that I have discussed in the video. That lets me know if you like it what you think about it. And some of you give me great ideas, great feedback or whatever. So I'm going to end this here. And I love you guys tremendously. And I'm grateful to have friends like you. I'm going to send each and every one of you love, light, and peace. Bye.